Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a bookshelf. This is at the end of my daughter's bed and her books are always all over the house. So I made this bookshelf to organize up her books. First thing I'm going to do is measure between the posts about 38 inches. Then I'm going to measure the height, which is a little over 30 inches. I put on some graph paper, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the shelves. The way I have it set up, being that I'm making it 30 by 38 inches, I make one block equal two inches. So it'll be easy to transfer it over to the wood. Okay, here's my two boards cut out. And I did a little bit of sanding to them and uh, rounded off the edges up here. Made sure everything was perfectly even. What I'm doing here is I've got the inside of the boards facing out where the dado cuts are going to go. And I'm just transferring the marks off the graph paper onto the inside of the boards. Alright, now that I have all my marks done, I'll be making my dado cuts. You should have something that looks like this when you're finished. A router table would have been a better choice, but I just got a new set of dado blades in and I wanted to give them a try. I'm taking a piece of pine and cutting it down to 38 inches. and I'm going to make rabbit cuts on it and corresponding cuts on the actual shelf. This will be the bottom of the, the front bottom of the shelf. Now I'm just going to cut out my shelves. Now I'm just trying to assemble and glue these together. Here I'm just adding Craig jig cuts for a little bit extra support. I'm just going to let the glue dry. I'm just going to add a couple more pocket holes to the bottom to support the trim. Now I've got my front trim piece here. I'm just going to give it a test fit. Now we got our trim pieces on, all we have to do is put on the back and give it a finish. Cutting these big sheets of wood is so much easier with the fold up bench that's the same height as the table saw. Another good thing if you don't have This is these rolling bars. This is made by Craftsman and it helps to catch the wood past the guard. Now that I got everything on, the back and everything, I'm just going to round over 
these sharp edges more like the front.